Okay, what I'm trying to do today is give you an idea of how to check charge on a preseason service on an air conditioner. Now we've got a pretty mild day here. Uh, we're at 72 degrees outside. Our inside temperature, I'll put the thermometer in there, but I think it's about 71 or 72. Okay, I want to check charge in this, but I really don't want to put the gauges on. Every time I put the gauges on, there's some refrigerant loss. Now, I, I can minimize that with low loss fittings, but you can cause leaks and straighters and things like that. Yeah, you can double check all the time. It seems like the more you do something, the more chance there is to have a leak. So, I like to check these things without putting my gauges on. I almost never put gauges on. You, this is probably not going to be effective unless you have a fair amount of experience here. The newbie is going to have troubles trying to do this because you have to get used to knowing what the right temperature is. Uh, but this is the way I usually do it. Okay, I've checked my outside temperature. Now I'm going to check my inside temperature and my temperature split. Okay, with an indoor temperature of about 73 and 54 uh, supply air, I'm 18, 17.8, uh, that's a pretty good split. Now I know my indoor coil's clean, I know my blower's clean, so I've done all this stuff first. This is kind of the last thing you do. Uh, it's actually the first thing and the last thing. I usually will check the uh, temperature of the suction line outside before I get started. Uh, but this is the final check to make sure that I have the uh, proper charge in the unit, that it hasn't leaked down or anything. Okay, now you can see I put a temperature probe on the suction line at the outdoor unit, and I'm showing about 52, 53 degrees. Well, uh, I've got a wet suction line that's got condensate on it. That tells me that, you know, it's cool but not so cold that it's freezing. Uh, my temperature inside is reasonable. Uh, temperature split inside is reasonable and the temperature itself inside is reasonable. So when I look at this temperature and if I compared it to a 40 degree evaporating temperature, I'm actually pretty close on superheat here. So just by using either a temperature probe or your hand, you can get a pretty good idea of how well this thing is charged and how close the charge is to what it should be without putting the gauges on. And so usually I will do it this way. Uh, this takes a lot of practice to get right and I don't necessarily recommend it for someone that's new to the industry. You're going to have to do a lot more checks to make sure you're right. But putting the gauges on each time you do a service really can be pretty negative on these critically charged machines. So this is the way I usually would do a service. Again, not recommended if you're really new to the business, but practice a lot with this and you'll come to where you can tell whether the charge is right on this thing or not. I also wouldn't do this method if we had an ambient outdoor temperature that was below 70 degrees and uh, without you know some blocking of the condenser or something like that to build the head up a little bit. Um, because oftentimes if it's a fixed orifice device and the head pressure is too low, it's not going to flow enough to give you a reasonable superheat. So there's, there's pitfalls in this thing all over the place. But it's a good way to do service once you've figured out just exactly how these things operate. So that's it for uh, checking charge on the service and not using the gauge set.